What's the national animal of Spain? Toro. Basically, in English, bull. <laughs> if you guys follow Rafael Nadal, uh, I believe people call him El Toro. Um, and that's because he's from Spain. Common knowledge? Yeah, I, I have no clue. <laughs> like really? Or something? Lion? <laughs> Lion. <laughs> what is this girl smoking? <laughs> trying to think of like, the flags or something. What's a bit of it? Today I'll be reacting to a video that you guys end up suggesting that I find a bit ironic since my audience is American, but basically it's, are Americans dumber than the rest of the world? Uh, I guess we'll find the answer in a second. But before you go into the video, let me ask you for one thing. If you can leave a like, thank you so much for that. It's the best way to show support. If you like my type of content, even though I probably will roast Americans today, do not forget to subscribe. Let me say one thing. Um, English is not my main language, so any mispronunciations, I'm sorry for that. I hope you understand me clear. I'm always trying my best. Let's play the video. Don't like to waste any time and see what's going on. 1920s. 1950s. 19- what are they talking about? Yeah, I have no clue. It's common knowledge. Hi everyone, I'm Haley. Okay. I'm from the USA. American Hello. girl. I'm Hallie, and I'm also Another from American the USA. girl. Hi guys, I'm Jessica. I'm European I'm from Germany. Germany. Hi, I'm Jordi and I'm Italy. From Italy. Hi, I'm Christy and, and I'm from the UK, UK West Midlands. Okay, I see it. Who do you guys think going to win? I think if I think we'll be Europeans, honestly, but we'll see. Yeah, I've definitely heard that before. What? I'm sorry, I actually missed the, the question. Did you ever heard anyone say that Americans are stupider than, than other people? Yes, and most of the time are, are actually Americans saying this, to, to, to be honest. Wish I never understood why you guys yeah, bully heard that your own self. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. I just think our stupid people get more publicity than other countries' mm. idiots. A good point, also. I don't think we're dumber than the rest of the world. That's fair. Yeah. It hurts. I, I don't know. I mean, probably there is studies that prove this or not. I I think there is a lot of intelligent people in America. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I'm going to be completely honest. My view has changed over the years. That was my first, well, my initial thought. But my view has changed from actually getting to know mm. uh, American people. Look, a lot of Americans that interact with me on this... Uh, on this channel. I don't know if they are smart or not, to be honest, because that's difficult to know. But uh, most of people are great people. And for me, that's what matters the most. I'm, uh, I'm also not super intelligent, you know, so I think we are all uh, humans at the end of the day. And as long as you are a nice a nice guy or a nice girl, I respect, uh, I respect that. Right? Are you ready I'm to not, win? I'm not either. That's <laughs> it. I mean, so I think we, have we always have an advantage of being yeah. one more. I've been out of school too long. Yeah, same here. Since I'm European, I will be playing for Australia. I identify as an Australian. I think today that's possible. Um, it's been a while. Yeah. And I, the thing is, I hate losing, but I don't know if I'm smart enough. What's the most populated country in the world? Um, China is probably the answer. But uh, I believe India is very close to China, uh, but I think it's still China. China? Oh! Okay, that's good. <laughs> they have a population problem. Well, there was a law for yeah. to limitate one child per family, um, but I think that... They had a population problem uh, having too many people. Right now, it's actually the opposite, if you guys are not aware. It's changed now. What's the national animal of Spain? Toro. Basically, in English, bull. <laughs> if you guys follow Rafael Nadal, uh, I believe people call him El Toro. Um, and that's because he's from Spain. And they also love things related with bulls. Common knowledge? Yeah, I, I have no this. clue. Is it like really? Like a falcon? Well, I'm from Portugal, so Spain is, is, a, is the closest country we have here. So probably that, that's why I know, I guess. Or something? <laughs> Lion? <laughs> <was> Lion. <laughs> what is this girl smoking? I'm trying to think of like the flags or something. Oh, oh. Bull. Yes! Okay. Yeah! What's the official langu- language of Argentina? Spanish. Uh, Lionel Messi speaks Spanish all the time, so it's kind of easy to know. Spanish? 
And it was, uh, uh, I believe, Christopher Columbus that find Argentina. Maybe I'm saying some BS, but I believe at least Spanish people discover Argentina. I, I would bet that. I guess because I heard that they pronounce their name Argentina. It's common knowledge. Yeah. That's why I know it. <laughs> but Spanish from Argentina is actually quite different from uh, Spanish from Spain. <laughs> Similar to Portuguese uh, uh, from Portugal versus Portuguese from Brazil. Uh, Japan. That's an easy one. Japan. I knew. I knew the answer. Cause I used to live. I used to live in Japan. I traveled oh, to really? Japan, so I think that's probably how I knew it. I just remembered that. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess he said yet, but let, actually, I did not probably read the answer in time. Probably how I knew it. I just remembered that. What was the U.S. in a was the U.S. an ally of the Soviet Union during the World War? Yes, because they, they defeated Germany. Yes. Oh. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even read it first. I can't remember. I saw a video of it because in Germany, World War II is yeah. a topic every year. So, yeah, we learn about it a lot. Biggest animal. Okay, this is not correct, right? Biggest animal uh, in the world. Uh, the first thought that comes to my mind is elephant, but I think that's the dumb, the, a very dumb answer. Probably is uh, a whale. I believe that is in Portuguese as uh, baleia azul, so it should be blue whale in, in English. Blue whale? I heard oh, yeah. Whales Let's go. Are the so far, so good, actually. There's something about gravity in the sea, I guess, that animals can become bigger. So yeah. There, there, there is giant stuff in, in the in the oceans. Uh, probably the, there is there is even other other stuff that is bigger than an elephant, for example. I do not know about that. <laughs> what were you about to say? Elephant. <laughs> um, I mean, uh, it's normal to think that. The black. Okay, now I know the, I know the answer. But let's see if I, if I actually know. doing. Yeah, I also know know, know this one. In Portuguese is peste play. negra. I was just about to say. <laughs> a lot of people. Like, and the, 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 the masks are very famous, the plague doctor. And then I'm not sure if you guys are aware, at least I, I learned this in school. I'm not sure if this information is outdated nowadays. But I believe it was the rats in the street that end up... Um, no, it was actually not rats. I believe it was actually people coming from uh, the sea. Okay, no, I'm not sure. Their masks are very famous. They're very common. Halloween costume. And actually, I, I actually I heard two versions. And then I think about back a little. People were talking more about what plagues are very common. And Twenty million people. That's that insane. Stuff, like, How many stars are on the flag? On the American flag? I know is. Uh, at least I believe I know is one star per state, and I believe there is fifty states. But I cannot say all the states, of course. You know this. <laughs> oh. Was it 50? I googled it. I don't know, like I was really yeah. interested in the US when I was younger, so I wanted to move to the US, so I was re researching a lot about it. Uh, the reason I know this is actually quite quite funny. I, I'm a huge fan of Friends, the, the TV show, and there is a episode about this one. I think I read it some years ago. I knew it! I did! I wasn't fast enough! What's the world's smallest country? Uh, Andorra is really small, but I believe is where the Pope is, uh, Vatican, right? Mm -hmm. Madagascar. I'm just going to keep yeah. saying this. We should know this. <laughs> Vatican? Yeah. I'm so dumb. I need to Tricky one, yeah. to be honest. Oh is that a country? Gosh. It's a country in Italy. I just People say is is the size of... Uh, uh, Soccer stadium, but I'm not sure about. I thought it was like a, a particular territory of Italy, which is Losing not a focus. State, it's just a territory. What's the largest body of water in the world? So, what's the biggest ocean? Atlantic is big, but I believe Pacific is even bigger, right? So, Pacific. Atlantic. Pacific Ocean? I yeah. just guessed. It no, makes sense. Um, yeah. <laughs> if you, if a, you imagine, makes, makes a lot of sense. I didn't know it was the biggest one, so I've learned something new. Yeah, I, I figured it was one of the two, and I guess I guessed the wrong one, too. 
largest country in the world. This is easy. It's uh, Russia. Russia? Yeah, that was my second guess. You I was so scared. What is, I was so scared. First, I also was like kind of fooled because of the population. Yeah. I kind of population. Yeah, population in 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 China is giant. In Russia, is actually. Not a lot of people live there. I believe Americans, I believe in the US, pe there, there is more people than in, in Russia. Because the a, a, a lot of parts of Russia, you, you cannot live there, or, or at least they are not great to, to live. This country, and I was like, oh, Russia. I was thinking it's one of the two. You see my face hesitate. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know this one. Hey guys, quick pause on this one. Hope you are having fun. If that's the case, do not forget to leave a like. But let me share with you one important thing. My Patreon community, as you probably know, reactions, they are difficult to monetize on YouTube. Having a Patreon community is very important. I will leave the link below the video, on the description and also in the comments. So if you want to join, thank you so much for that. I will provide exclusive content there. A lot of videos I'm not even able to publish on YouTube. They will go direct to Patreon. So keep that in mind. If you like my content here, you probably will also love my content on Patreon. Let's continue with this video and I hope you have fun. Yeah, I never understood this this um, American to European conversion. Yeah, I'm really bad at that. Maybe no three. I think is too much. Maybe two. Three probably point... not. No, <laughs> no. Two point one. Two point five. <laughs> one point seven. One point eight. One point six. Yes. <laughs> okay, this one point. I, I have no idea. You use one or the other. You don't convert mm. usually. Like when I exercise, I'm always like doing kilometers because I'm like yeah. running a 5k mm. or something okay. like that. Yeah. But then when I'm driving at home, I definitely think in miles. I don't know how big a mile is. I only like in Italy. I also don't, don't know. I don't think there is a word for mile in Italy. What color is giraffe? Blue. I don't know, actually. If they are asking this, is not red. I believe it's black. I, am I? I don't know. Maybe it's blue, but Look I believe it's black. I it's love animals. Uh, I'm just okay. interested in going to like zoos and. When you go to the zoo, you give something to the zoo. Yeah, and if I've been to a zoo, I've seen it around. I just want to pass it off. When did the Cold War end? Ah oh, man. I should have known this one. That's sad that I don't. 88. Maybe I would say 89. Maybe I'm so wrong on this one. Let's see it. I don't even have a guess. I'm so bad at history. But I, I knew like, this at one point. Say something really, really wrong. Well. Yeah, okay. Jeez, I have no idea. 89. I'm so stupid. I'm gonna sound stupid because I don't know the literal translation from Cold War. 1920s. 19. Wait, no. No chance. 20s. What is this girl talking about? 50s. Do this guy think. Did. Maybe thinks we are talking about World War One or World War Two. To be fair, she's mixing boats actually. This is a bad look for you guys, Americans. Let me say it. Please, 1930s. And a bad look for Europeans also. 1940s. Oh my God, this is bad. 1954. 1970. <laughs> 89. Yes. Dude, I knew it. Okay, I was not sure about 88 or 89. Um and but I I I I I I knew was was before than the 90s. Oh that's not because of my knowledge. That was a guessing game. I've learned about it for sure in school. Wait, they did not know it was between Russia and um and the uh, US at the time, not Russia as we know, but you guys get the point. It doesn't come up in conversation. 
conversation. Yeah, ever. I cannot remember learning it. Maybe I had it, maybe not. I forgot it. <laughs> I feel like these are getting harder, so we're just gonna try our best. <laughs> this is a very popular topic in uh, in Europe. They they should know this. <laughs> What's the best selling book of all time? Uh, okay, one hundred percent is a religion book. Bible should would be my first choice. Quran could be another good option, but I believe Christianity have been bigger for longer time. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the Bible. But the best-selling book is a bit tricky because uh, how far are we actually taking note of this? Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter probably also <laughs> sold a lot, but I'm going with the Bible. The Bible? The Bible? <laughs> I didn't even like think of that as being like technically a book that would be counted on the selling. Not a bad look for you guys. I, I have to say it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, I had two options. The Bible or Harry Potter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that, that girl thinks like me. I wouldn't have guessed that because I wouldn't have thought it was counting on like the book sales chart. I, I would think those wouldn't include like religious texts, so I wouldn't have guessed it. Okay. We got five! <laughs> I think that the stereotype is there because of how the education system is different in each country. I don't know if it's still a stereotype. And the, the other thing I don't like about this uh, stereotype is Europe is big, you know, and uh, the education in Portugal is very different than the, the education in Italy or the education in Spain. So uh, it's a bit relative, to be honest. Stereotype, but it's kind of known, at least in Europe, that the American education system is a little different from how we study in Europe. So I guess that might be it, but it also was like a who's faster <laughs> kind of game. So I guess I'm faster. <laughs> yeah, I also believe that. <laughs> I don't think that this shows anything to do with the stereotype being true or not because this was like common knowledge for almost every question we all knew probably except for the cold war answer <laughs> <laughs> no the cold war was a bad look even for europeans i also i'm saying this and i was not sure about the date but i had an idea more or less the time like, I think most of us knew the answers to all of these. I think if it was a team thing, maybe our combined knowledge could have been nice too. Yeah. Like, I felt like you probably knew some that I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, I think maybe. she knew like, the ones that I didn't know. Yeah. Our collective knowledge isn't yeah. that bad. Is and sometimes the one person just picks up maybe one thing and the others know it as well. Or yeah. like, also We're interests also are different, researching things more than other topics, so. Yeah. I think it also depends on which country you're from, because especially because a lot of the questions were based on some history. Uh, it depends on what you learn. From what I've heard in America, you focus on American history. In Europe, we, we tend to focus on our own country's history. We don't really know much about other countries' history. We know a little bit about other European countries, but certainly not uh, other people from other countries. Yeah. Nowadays, in the States at least, Typically, every year of high school, most schools require you to learn about a different region of the world. It's like nowadays, people typically know more, I think. It doesn't matter where you're okay. from. It depends from person to person, of course. Yeah. So today, we're having a quiz battle, and the topic is about American versus European general knowledge. If you liked this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and subscribe. for more. Bye-bye! Bye. Bye. Bye! I really enjoyed this video. Uh, I thought it was, was a great one. but. What about you? I mean, uh, you can tell me leaving a like if you also thought this was an interesting video. And I may react to more stuff like this if you guys also enjoy. I normally react to sports, but I enjoy this type of stuff. I think they are funny. But again, I need to see uh, your support. Uh, uh, but I know you guys, if I got views, you guys will support. Have a nice day and see you guys soon.